We knew men were playing a, a very, very, very tough opposition, uh, and we we knew they are very disparate. They can come at us. We wanted to have a very good start. It was unfortunate that we could not get an early goal. Uh, there were moments where one thought maybe we could have had an early penalty, which could have settled things down, but unfortunately, it did not happen. And very unfortunate to concede the goal that we considered. I still have to check in the video. Uh, because I thought it was offside, but uh, it, it put a lot of stress on us now because we had to come out and we know they are very dangerous on a counter-attack with players like Rahane, players like Nyamane, and uh, we, we had to dig deeper, but we improved the intensity of our game. We started moving the ball a little bit faster, which is what we, we've always wanted. Uh, maybe that, that goal helped us to come back to the normal game that we can play as Sundowns because we started to lift the intensity, which made life a bit difficult for them. But uh, one must still say that we were not clinical enough. We still made a lot of mistakes technically. And uh, our possession at times was not as incisive to create scoring opportunities, but uh, it's something that we are working on very hard. But I'm very impressed with the, even the contribution that Coach Lane when he, he suggested that we let's try to, to invert our fullbacks so that we can get proper diagonals because that's where the goal of Nkulisi came. And Tapelo could have done the same and Lyle could have easily scored from that situation. And the tr truth be told, it's a, it, it was a very good uh, idea when you brought those fullbacks in the, in the... Because their wingers were not threatening us. So we wanted to use our fullback a little bit more in our attacking play. And uh, it, I think it benefited us a little bit. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's, it's encouraging to see Mkulisi growing in leaps and bounds. The boy works very hard. The boy is very industrious. The boy is strong defensively. He assists the team offensively. But we've always complained that he is not scoring enough. And surprisingly, today I went to him and I said, today is your day to score a goal. And when he scored, I was very excited because I had just spoken to him to say, today is your day. I want to see your goal today. And uh, he rewarded us with that. So it, it is always encouraging when you see players like Pizzo performing the way they are performing because uh, the boy is, is working hard, is very focused, is a good professional. You, 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 you must reward such, uh, such players because there are no longer too many highly talented players who've got very clean lifestyles, who are focused in their performances, work very hard week in and week out, and you're building something that you know is going to yield something for you because if the player is focused, you can see he's got bigger ambitions for the future. And also very encouraged to see Villa coming back and coming back with a goal and River scoring that goal in the dying stages of the first half. Very encouraged to see our midfielders starting to to get the goals because what counts the most is when you've got a team that can get goals from different angles so that it's very difficult for opponents to know where the goal is going to come. And it was impressive for, for Villa to, to score. It was impressive for, for River to, to go in there and score. And we are hoping to that it has opened that space for Villa River because I always complain to him as a midfielder I need to. We need to tick a little bit more boxes in his uh, assists, in his shots at goals, in his uh, uh, final combination plays and box entries. And when he scores, you know that maybe can be ignited, and he might start maybe looking for these opportunities from time to time. At Sundowns, the coaches that I work with, one thing we do is to reward good performances, and that kills the headache of bias and wanting to play a player even when he's no longer performing. When Villa comes in and scores, he continues. Uh, he's already ahead in the pecking order because you know what he has given you in the previous match. And uh, it will go on and on like that. It's not going to change. We are just happy. That is why even George came in against Al-Hilal and gave a very good performance. And he was in the 18 today and uh, he got an opportunity to play. The captain was unfortunate not to get a chance to play because he also did very well in, 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 at Al-Hilal. But uh, we've got another big one on, at, on Friday against Pelostat. We are hoping that some of these players will carry a breather so that they can also help us going forward into the net bank. To be honest, uh, the Sundowns, we have a responsibility not to lose a lot of matches. We work very hard in, in instilling that culture, but we are never focused on how many games have we won, how many games have we drawn. 
that we're always focusing on making sure that we win every match. We even feel bad when we get a throw. Be it it's a friendly match, be it it's a, it's a practice match, we, we always want to win at the end of the match. And as for the records, that is for the statisticians and for the media. But we as coaches, we are focusing on each game as it comes and to give our best shot in each and every game, which is why even now we have won the match, but we are unhappy that we consider a goal. So, because that is what we are always playing for.